Hi, my name is Mariana and this is One Minute Summary of Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. If you think you are doing what you are supposed to be doing, society will reward you. He claims to be a workaholic and he was so much inside his own head that he was trapped in his own thoughts and in his own ego. We cannot aim to be successful and to be ego-free from one day to the next, but we can take small steps in our lives in order to be better every day. In this summary, I will walk you to the 10 main takeaways of this book. The first one being the plus, minus and equal. The three types of people which you need in your life. The pluses are your mentors, people who are one step ahead. Minus, people you can mentor. And the equal, people that are at the same level as you. Meaning that they will challenge you and you will challenge them back. The second one is not to be passionate because passion is below purpose and purpose is the thing that actually drives you forward and then blinds you from your own ego. The third one is to always be a student. The fourth one is to get out of our own heads and get more in tone with reality and with the strategy and the steps that we actually need to take in order to get us where we want to be. The fifth one would be to swallow our pride and this is self-explanatory but our pride is the thing that actually prevents us from getting anywhere because we think that we're already there when we actually not. The sixth is the golden mean which is to find balance in our lives. It's kind of like the metaphor of the car in which you need to put gas but in order for you to get to your destination you need gas plus the right direction. The seventh is a life versus dead time and you need both in your life. Basically, a lifetime is everything that you can do in any second of the day which drives you forward and gets you closer to your goals and that time is just passive, so it doesn't get you closer to your goals it's like sitting on the couch or playing video games with your friends but you need to have both in order to recharge your creative energy. The eighth one is to detach from the outcome. You have no control of the destination and the destination might change. So everything you can do is to show up today to do your best. The ninth one is catabasis, which is this Greek word for going down. And this can be an inflection point and it's very important when it's combined with reflection for you to go up again. And as humans, we fear rejection and we fear failure and fear heartbreaks and everything that causes us suffering. But actually, those might be the most important moments of our life in order to just drive us forward. And the last one is to maintain your own scorecard. I hope this helped you in any way and take care. Have an amazing week.